Welcome to Coffee with Andrea. I'm Andrea Wolverton, the co-founder of Twin Engine Coffee in Nicaragua. This is the first video of, I hope, many of where we talk about different things about coffee and what we're doing at Twin Engine Coffee. Today I wanted to share with you something very much on a lighter note, a coffee drink that I find to be a lot of fun and really just a great treat. Uh, for myself and sometimes to share with people, but, but mostly for me, and, and I hope you'll enjoy it. It is called the Shakerato, and the story behind the Shakerato is that I lived in Rome, Italy, and was working there, and a work colleague one day was like, hey, do you wanna go try something fun? We walked across the street to the closest bar, which is a cafe in Italy, and out came this really great, coffee, simple concoction that I've never forgotten and have enjoyed a lot since then. So I'd like to teach you how to make it and we will start the most important, well there's two important things, the shaker and strong coffee. And I say not just because I own a coffee company, but you really need to have high quality coffee to make it because when you serve coffee cold, you can taste all of the imperfections in the coffee. I use the espresso. This is our cafe size bag if you've never seen it. Um, an espresso or our honey bear would be great starting coffee. The secret that I have to make sure I can make a shakerato at any time is that I use the mocha, which is a stovetop espresso maker. I just put water, coffee, and then make it on the stove. It's like a little percolator. So I fill up my glass bottle all the way with batch after batch and then I put it in the fridge and then I can make the shakerato anytime I want. As long as I don't add anything like milk to this, it keeps for weeks, which is great. So we have the coffee and the Prosecco champagne sparkling glass. Um, for me, this is a, I could say non-negotiable, but a nice glass because it's, it's part of the fun. So basically, we'll start with our shaker and about three ounces of coffee. And it's not a scientific experiment. You can make it to taste. Now, being totally honest, I would make it without sugar or maybe just a touch. If you were in Italy, it would be very sweet <laughs> when you received it. I'm going to put some local honey um, from our uh, favorite beekeeper, Fabrizio, here in Chakra Seca. It's about a tablespoon and a half, whatever you like. And a few cubes of ice. So, the key to the shakerato is that you have to shake it really hard. So, I don't know if you can see ooh, all the foam, but basically, when you shake it, you get this great foam. Oh, look at that, it's beautiful. That will start to separate out. So it's falling. And then in a few minutes, it will become all dark here and foamy at the top. But you can go ahead and try to take a drink now. Mm. Really good. Mm. You can see the levels now. Mm. So it's beautiful, fun, easy, and of course, Depending on your preferences, you could, instead of the honey, you could add a little coffee liqueur or rum. Um, but for an afternoon treat, I like it just like this. So I hope you have time to enjoy yourself and treat yourself to Shakerato and customize it however you like to enjoy it. And we hope to see you back here soon.